Hi, I'm Lori Eschner. I am the Art Department Chair for the City of Bristol, and I'm here today with my friend to talk about cutting and using scissors. So, we're going to start with this pair of scissors. This is a child's first pair of scissors and how to hold them, and I'm going to go through the story with my friend. So I'm going to start you with these scissors today. So listen to my story. We're going to pretend that this is a taxi, a taxi car. And when the taxi pulls up, the person takes their luggage, so I'm going to take my thumb and I'm going to put it in the top hole. The driver, now does the driver sit in the front or the back? The front, so here goes my driver. My pointer finger goes in the front and the passenger's right in the back. So pretend this is a taxi, and show me how you can hold the scissors. Oh, hold it up above the table. Check that out. We have luggage, driver, passengers in the back. Excellent. Next, when we cut, we call it thumbs up. So you have to have your thumb on the top. I'm going to give you a piece of paper, and when you hold that piece of paper, you have to see your other thumb. Can you show me that? Thumbs up. And up. there she goes, and you can start cutting. When a child first learns to cut, short strips of paper, and it's just snip, snip, snip. Excellent. Let's put our scissors down. We're going to change scissors now. I'm going to take that first pair, which is going to go on to the second pair. Notice there is no hole in the front, but the pointer goes in the front. Also, there's still blunt end scissors. I'm going to give you this pair. She's now going to go to larger piece of paper. Ooh, she did it without me reminding her. Thumbs up. This time, I'm going to cut on the line. Cutting on the line is so that they can move the scissors forward. Perfect. And then I'm going to place my scissors down. Now, next piece of paper. This is for a target. I'm going to see that if you can hold your paper, thumbs up, you're going to start on the line and you're going to cut, and you're going to stop when you get to the middle. Thumbs up. Notice she's holding her thumb close to where she's cutting. Something else, she's sitting upright, and both feet are planted on top of the box so that her feet are grounded while she's cutting. Success! She was able to do that. She gets to move on to the next stage of cutting. Here we go. This time, you're going to get some papers. We did straight lines. We did target. Now we're going to do curved lines. I'll do the first one. Luggage, driver, passengers. Thumbs up. I follow the curved line. Now I'll let you do the second one. And it's a simple curve, like a rainbow. Wonderful. I'm going to pretend I'm left-handed for a second. And I've asked her earlier, what's the word on that pair of scissors? Left. So if a student is left-handed, yes, there are special scissors for a left-handed student. Grip is the same. Luggage driver, passengers. I'm going to try it. Thumbs up. Something you'll notice, I'm going to put it next to the right-handed pair of scissors. When the blade is open, you can see that the blades are reversed. 
we're gonna move on. Squiggly line. Go for it. This makes it a little more difficult because I have to be able to wiggle the scissors back and forth. difficult. Straight lines. But this time you have to be able to stop and turn the scissors. I'll do one. Hold my scissors. And I cut. Stop. Turn. Cut. Pick one to do. Notice it takes concentration. The eyes, hands, thinking, do I turn, do I stop, what direction do I turn, excellent. Then next come the shapes. We'll start first with the triangle. If you think back to the target, the line was drawn on the edge of the paper and she had to cut to the center. This time she had to make her own choice as to where would she even begin cutting. And she started from the outside edge and aimed the scissors for the black line. You first practice cutting the line going across the paper. Now the corners are within the shape of the paper, which makes it a little more difficult. And here we go. There's your rectangle. And the last shape I have for you to cut today is the circle. When a child cuts a circle, they're cutting, but they also have to be able to turn the paper at the same time. If you remember back, she already practiced cutting curved lines. Now she's cutting a curved shape. Now she's ready to move from paper to some other types of materials that you can cut. So I'm going to check to see and I'm going to get some other paper like tissue paper, felt, and we'll see what we can cut. So, let's start with this. Try to remember too, you don't want to give them too large of a shape to begin with. Tissue paper is thinner. So let's see if you can start just by cutting across the shape. A little more flimsy too. When they advance to different thicknesses, thin, thick, different materials, that's when the pressure changes on how tight do I hold the scissor blade or how loose in order to get the scissors to move. Let's try this piece of styrofoam. Let's see if, I'm not going to draw the line, see if you can just imagine a line and cut across.
I want to thank you for being such a good student and showing other boys and girls how to correctly hold scissors. One thing I do also want to point out is if the student holds the scissors incorrectly, then the hand is tilted. The minute the driver is in the driver's seat, then it straightens out the scissors and it's a better cutting. The driver is also the power, gives you the power to cut. Another safety rule, maybe you've learned this with your teacher. How do you hold a pair of scissors if you were going to walk around the room? Do you know? I didn't even have to show her. Blades together, that is safety. And anytime we're not cutting, we leave the scissors on the table. When it's older, that's when the scissors change. Pointed end, a little sharper, same grip. Thumb on the top, pointer, fingers in the back. And as the child's hand gets larger, the pinky sometimes just hangs out. There are also scissors developmentally for children who have difficulty cutting, that a teacher can hold the pair of scissors along with the child so that they get the opening, the up and down motion when first learning how to cut. Oh, I'd like to. Thank you.